Hey everybody, Coach Sherwin here. Uh, what we're gonna be looking at is improving your shiftiness on the court and improving your speed with the ball in your hands. This question is going out to uh, at Lexi underscore Kemp 06 and at YK Lewis for asking the question on uh, the AMA. So if you're looking to improve your ball handling speed, uh, I really suggest you go check out our YouTube channel or our previous post and look for the post about improving, instantly improving your ball handling speed. Now, when we're looking at improving ball handling as a whole, I'm gonna give you a little bit of a pro tip. The idea to cover the basketball with a plastic bag doesn't really make sense to me. Now what we want to do to be elite level ball handlers, and you can ask any coach out there that is looking to improve their player's ball handling drills, is obviously not to look at the ball, but to feel the ball when doing any dribble moves. So what we want to do is using basic science, take away one sense to enhance the other. So if we close our eyes, in theory, our touch heightens. So that's what I recommend doing to generally improve your ball handling is to do your stationary ball handling drills with your eyes closed and ditch the bag. You don't really need it. Now the other part of improving your ball handling is to become more shifty. How do we become more shifty? Well, one of the first skills that you're going to want to learn how to do is to transfer your weight or learning how to weight shift. So if I'm putting my weight here, I have to be able to move it back and forth, just like this. Typically, when you are playing basketball, the defense is going to be in front of you. So using an east-west stance is gonna be the more appropriate uh, position for you to be in to make the necessary breakdown moves. So if I'm crossing over, I'm going more east-west. When I use a north-south, stance that's when a player is riding my hip so if i'm making a move to the hoop and there's a player right here what i'll do is i'll play i'll plant down shift my weight back and go that way it looks like more of a stop and go move or even what a lot of people will call a hezzy so those are the two types of weight shifts that you're going to want to know how to do when you're trying to use this move Understand that it's going to take some time to be able to learn how to weight shift if it's a very difficult skill for you. Be patient, practice it whenever you can, use it during game play, whether you're playing pickup uh, or if you're doing drills, one-on-one -on -one drills, two-on-two, -two, anytime that you can, use it, practice it so it becomes second nature. Understanding the defense is going to be vital in becoming a better ball handler. The defense reads your patterns. So if you continue to do the same patterns, trying to break down the defense, the defense will, will study that move, pick it up at the next play. So if all I do is just front crosses, and even we break it down to you only do three front crosses, so then that way you go to the right. So I'm going one, two, three, or I go the other way, one, two, three, and that's the move that you always do. The defense is going to understand that pattern, so it is up to you to mix up the pattern to get the edge. As an offensive player, you are in charge of the moves that you are going to do, obviously. So the defense has to react to you. You have a step over the defense because you know the moves that you're going to do, and then reading, reacting, making the necessary counter moves is what's going to set you apart for from everybody else in becoming an elite level ball handler. We'll begin with the easiest one. This is shifting your weight with the ball. As you'll see in the video, the ball will follow the shift. The ball goes to the right, the weight transfers to the right. If the weight goes to the left, the ball goes to the left.
in this next drill, the weight will shift away from the ball. With every cross, there's a step shift to the opposite direction. 